Hey everybody, Jax here. Uh, in this tutorial, what I'm going to be showing you guys is a material effect I came up with uh, a while back for a sharpen, kind of a sharpen material effect. And I'm just going to do a, uh, hopefully a quick run through of the material. <coughs> Alright, so what I got here is uh, I got a no offset, positive offset, and a negative offset. Um, the no offset is of course set to zero. The positive offset is set to 0 .001. Then the negative offset is the opposite of the positive offset being negative 0 .001. Now um, we just move to the next line. I'll go and start at the top. You got an append and a texture coordinate. And you got that you got uh, that kind of grouped there. You got another append and another texture coordinate, and you keep on doing that all the way down. And what it turns out to be is I think one, two, three, four, four groups. Uh, so four appends and four texture coordinates. The no offset plugs into the top as well as, or the top append, as well as this append, and um, those both get plugged into A, but down here on the bottom half, um, it's plugged into both the B's of the appends. Now the positive offset, though, is plugged into the top, top append B, and top append A or not top append, uh, the um, about mid append A and then the negative offset is plugged into uh, the second append down and then the very last append and on the, the second one down uh, it's plugged into B but on this one right down here it's plugged into A hope you guys all got that uh, move on to the next part and for each of these uh, I'll zoom out a bit so you can maybe see it each of these you're going to add uh, an add um, which the top section then goes into a scene texture sample uh, two actually uh, and that's where the ads get plugged into and then it's added to another ad and down here it's pretty much the exact same. Yeah, it's, it's the same. And then it's plugged into an ad there. Then you got another ad adding these two massive groups together. Then you have another texture sample. And you add that texture, scene texture sample to all of this back here. And from there you will plug it into a divide and you uh, add a constant and set it to 5 so you're dividing all of this by 5 and then you're gonna just plug that right into a subtract B and then the scene texture sample goes into the subtract A and that goes into a mask for G and as we get down here a little bit further I'm gonna go ahead stop right about here. You gotta multiply right over here. You're gonna plug the subtract into B for multiply. And then you're gonna take the constant 2 and plug that into A. So you're multiplying 2 by the subtraction of these two. I know it's getting a bit complex, but go ahead and uh, try and stick with me. Um, then we have an if uh, I believe it's an if then you can search it up here in the box um, and the mask G gets plugged into A then we got three constants down here this one this one and this one and um, the first one is 0.1 or 0.01 the second one is 1 and the third one is 0 0.01 gets plugged into B 1 gets plugged into A is greater than B and A is equal to B and 0 gets plugged into A is less than B. 
I'm going to move here a little bit further and we can see it here as we plug this multiply into another multiply. We take that if uh, box and plug it into B for multiply. And then we take a scene texture sample again and plug that into add as well as uh, from the multiply we plug into add. And then we just stick that right into a missive and we have our sharpen effect. And what you would do with this is then go and create a post process chain by right clicking and going to new post process chain. And then you would open it. You would right click and create a material effect right here. Go on there. Grab your material, the sharpened material. and hit that green arrow and if everything if you did everything correctly you could go and uh, go into view world properties uh, rendering and then world process post process chain select your post process chain and select this and the material effect will work. As you can see, it really sharpens up the scene here. So that about wraps it up for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and uh, please like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.